Hi friends of Sailing Vessel Easy, welcome back to my sailing channel. In this episode there will be some actual sailing footage, but the main focus is still on boat works. I considerably advanced the power generation of our ship by constructing a solar arch for nearly 1000 watts of solar power. But let's start from the beginning. In last autumn, when Easy was still in the water, I bought a pile of wooden slats and constructed a mock-up of the solar arch. Four large plywood plates were cut to the size of the solar panels and mounted on the top of the wooden construction. Then exact measures were taken and I drew sketches of the arch. These plans also included a construction for a bimini and a crane to lift our outboard engine to the dinghy. In spring Easy went on a short trailer ride on the Isle of Fehmarn before she finally touched water again. in 2017. We had also ordered new standing rigging. The rigging guys pretty much messed things up and after seven months of work the wires still weren't correct. So the first three weeks of the season Easy was sitting sadly in the water with no mast until they finally got the wires right. As soon as the rig had been finished, Kirsten and I sailed up to Flensburg. We are now finally back into sailing mode. We left Fehmarn this morning and now we're on our way to Flensburg. There we'll get the solar arch installed. This will take some weeks. so. It will be the only sailing trip for the next couple of weeks. On the first leg we had a smooth downwind sail only inter interrupted by a short thunderstorm. We then anchored in a protected Danish bay three quarters of the way to Flensburg. The next day the wind had picked up considerably and we could use our new second furler for the working jib for the first time. The first thing I have to show you is the new spinnaker pole. And it's very nice, it's made of carbon fiber. It weighs about half of the old one. There's the old one. And we also bought a second pole for the second head sail. This is the new installed furler of the second head sail and the new control line for the second head sail running all the way back to a new installed cleat to be able to use the two head sails wing on wing I also installed a second spinnaker pole car which is above the first spinnaker whole car. We have fairly light winds so it will be well after midnight when we reach Flensburg. As usual we had a long lie-in and didn't start before 11 o'clock in the morning. That's always the same after a long working week that we don't really set off too early and this is easy 
on our course from Fehmarn to the Flensburg Förde, which is a kind of bay. We are using the autopilot and I really should lower the response rate a bit because it's working all the time. And now the steering wheel is not moving all the time. The day before yesterday I had installed a new wind instrument, a mass top unit 213 by BNG. And guess what? The bloody thing didn't work. Uh, it can't display the direction of the wind. So I went up the mast, checked all the connections and found out it's the actual sensor that is not working properly. The cable install and the course computer are fine, but the sensor is not working. So I have to get a new one. Hopefully BMG will replace that thing. That's the reason why you see those funny numbers um, regarding the wind angle and the wind speed. We have got a very nice arrangement of two sets of glasses, one for viewing and the other one for protection of UV light. Oh yeah. That's always interesting. You sail and sail for hours and hours and all of a sudden there is a buoy or a very close ship and then it's hours and hours again with nothing happening. And there is another ferry that likes easy a lot and crossed our course with a very short distance. It's the Color Magic Color Line Cruises. They cut the corners at this part, coming from Kiel or somewhere, heading up north. And so we had the right of way. And this is about the fourth or fifth time I've come across this ferry line in this very spot here. Very interesting, in both directions. Meanwhile, Kirsten had prepared a delicious meal by opening some bags of cashew nuts and some sausage called Cabanossi. That's one of the facts of sailing. As soon as you leave port, you start to get hungry, at least in my case. So there we were sailing into this dark wall of rain and probably thunderstorm. After our meal, one of us got really tired. And this was just the calm before the storm. While we are nicely sailing to the island of Eils, Kirsten was doing some derivative of yoga on the foredeck. After some rain, the weather turned a bit nicer, except that it's still relatively cold. The water has got 16 degrees and the air temperature feels like 18 or something. The next morning we left our nice anchorage north of Flensburg. We were sailing close to the wind for half a day and the new furler for the working jib was used for the first time.
we left easy at the Nero Petersen dock to get the solar arches installed. There was a seagull breeding right next to Easy. And this was mother and father watching her egg, paying attention that we don't come too close. Unfortunately, the next week the egg was gone. Today, I stopped working early and drove up to Flensburg to help constructing the solar arch. During the next five weeks, I drove up to Flensburg once or twice a week to discuss details of the construction of the solar arch in varying stages. The nearly finished solar arch looks like this and this arch also includes a bimini which is this foldable bit over here. This is the connection to the deck and the aft connection to the transom looks like this. So the stability is derived from two diagonals and there's the other one. I left a gap between the solar panels to reduce the wind pressure and in the middle there is a gap for the backstay. Also a detachable pole to mount a wind generator has been incorporated which has been fixed with power joints which I bought from a windsurfing shop. Now let's jump on land and see what it looks like from the distance. The arch adds a fair bit of weight to the stern of the boat the total weight of that solar arch will be 140 kilograms. So that's the stern view of the whole construction. And if you take into consideration that the solar arch provides electrical power for the whole boat, I think it's a, it's a reasonable compromise between aesthetics and function. I also constructed two holding plates for a series drog sea anchor which I will construct in the next winter season. There are five 12 millimeter bolts with a plate from the inner side so these plates are very stable. They need to hold a fair bit of weight and they are rated up to seven tons on each side. My project of today was to connect the new position lamps at the front, the cable to the old position lamp was just an ordinary household power cable and that had fallen apart, totally corroded so the front lamp wasn't working anymore. This is the mounting of the new starboard position light. I wanted to have this area free, so should a line run through there, the lamp is not in the way. And that's the port light seen from the front. To get the electrical connection corrosion resistant I used this magic potion in the first step and then in the second step I will apply a layer of this rubber mastic tape which produces a watertight seal. 
Don't be afraid to overdo it at this point because the fate of all electrical connections in the chain locker section sooner or later is corrosion. The cable has been attached with cable ties to the deck section and this is the new gland I've installed today. Since the wind was to pick up later in the afternoon exactly from the direction we were heading we went for an early start in Flensburg. Just as we were about to leave, there was a thick wall of fog coming into the Flensburg further. fog had now disappeared somewhat and the new instruments were working nicely. We had to motor all the way out of the Flensburg further. We passed the idyllic Oxen Islands one more time without visiting them. So I still have no idea what they are like. I just noticed the pedal wheel wasn't working so I had to fix that. After some weeks in harbor, they always get stuck. So you have to get it out and turn it a couple of times until it works again. So that's my next wet job now. After I'd taken all that slime off the pedal wheel, it was working nicely again. And this is what the forepeak looks like with tons of tools and stuff. It's all packed. It's like a workshop. And while Kirsten was doing her morning exercises, for me it was certainly time to pour the first coffee. While motoring out of the Flensburg further, it got pretty cold. There was not much difference to sailing in spring or autumn. As expected, the wind was blowing straight from the nose, so we couldn't sail. After motoring against these stupid waves for several hours with no chance of sailing, I was fed up and turned into the nearby harbor of Marsholm. After tons of rain, we had rather a bumpy passage of the exit of the Schlei. Then the weather improved and we could finally set sails.
the weather doesn't look all that nice, I must say. Now we need to put the pole out. Doing that single-handed is quite a bit of work. It's a bit of a running exercise, actually. And back to the old course. So this was our first experience with a new solar arch in real life conditions. After we had taken easy home to the island of Fehmarn, we were really looking forward to our next working week at the office. If you really like my videos, please subscribe to the channel, share the videos. Well, if you're a regular YouTube viewer, you know what to do. Enjoy our videos. Bye. A mock-up of the solar arch. What does it look like? Leave me this way. Doo -doo -doo.